Welcome to this informative video presentation on the choice between a crusher or a shredder for plasterboard recycling. We often get asked which is the better option if you want to process your plasterboard waste. So we at JAWS Mini Crushers have created this short video to demonstrate the difference between the crusher and the shredder in this application. We'll explore the benefits and applications of both machines to help you make an informed decision. Plasterboard, also known as drywall, is widely used in construction. However, it generates a significant amount of waste. Recycling plasterboard can reduce landfill waste and contribute to a more sustainable future. Let's begin by discussing the crusher. Crushers are efficient at crushing concrete and general building rubble into usable aggregate. They often feature two manganese jaw plates, one fixed and the other one swings causing the crushing effect. They are ideal for the crushing of inert and tough materials. Crushers are suitable for processing large volumes quickly. Crushers are commonly used for breaking down concrete, bricks, stones and other inert building waste into smaller chunks. Reducing the volume of the building waste for easier transportation. Creating a uniform product for further processing. Uh, as this video shows, the jaw crusher was not able to process the plasterboard because of the paper sheet remained intact. This caused the jaw crusher to block. Unfortunately, the jaw crusher was not successful in this application. Now, let's explore the shredder. Shredders are excellent at reducing plasterboard into fine particles, reducing the volume so that you can save money. They can handle different types of waste, including mixed materials. Shredders are versatile and can produce various output sizes. Shredders find use in turning plasterboard into recyclable granules, creating finer materials suitable for gypsum recycling, processing mixed waste streams efficiently. So, which machine should you choose? Consider these factors. Your specific recycling goals and product requirements the volume and type of plasterboard waste you need to process, available space, budget and energy efficiency. In conclusion, both crushers and shredders have their merits, but for plasterboard recycling, the choice ultimately is the shredder. If you need further guidance or have questions about plasterboard recycling equipment, don't hesitate to reach out to our experts. Thank you for watching and remember that responsible plasterboard recycling contributes to a greener future.